Question 1. What year did the Battle of Hastings take place? A. 871 AD B. 1066 AD C. 1215 AD D. 1485 AD Answer. B. 1066 AD The Battle of Hastings, marking the beginning of the Norman conquest of England, took place in 1066 AD. Question 2. Who was the first female Prime Minister of the UK? A. Elizabeth II B. Margaret Thatcher C. Indira Gandhi D. Theresa May Answer. B. Margaret Thatcher Margaret Thatcher was the first female Prime Minister of the UK, serving from 1979 to 1990. Question 3. Name the fundamental duties of a UK citizen. A. Voting, paying taxes, and military service. B. Voting, respecting laws, and community participation. C. Respecting laws, jury service, and paying taxes. D. Military service, jury service, and community participation. Answer. C. Respecting laws, jury service, and paying taxes. Fundamental duties of a UK citizen include respecting laws, serving on a jury if called, and paying taxes. Question 4. In what year was the Magna Carta signed? A. 1066 B. 1215 C. 1415 D. 1603 Answer. B. 1215 The Magna Carta a landmark document in British history, was signed in 1215. Question 5. When did the UK join the European Union? A. 1957 B. 1963 C. 1973 D. 1992 Answer. C. 1973 the UK joined the European Union in 1973. Question 6. What is the capital city of Northern Ireland? A. Dublin B. Belfast C. Cardiff D. Edinburgh Answer. B. Belfast Belfast is the capital city of Northern Ireland. Question 7. Describe the main role of the Speaker in the House of Commons. A. Representing the ruling party. B. Presiding over debates and maintaining order. C. Drafting legislation. D. Acting as the head of state. Answer. B. Presiding over debates and maintaining order. The main role of the Speaker in the House of Commons is to preside over debates and maintain order. Question 8. Who is the patron saint of Scotland? A. Saint Andrew B. Saint David C. Saint Patrick D. Saint George Answer. A. Saint Andrew Saint Andrew is the patron saint of Scotland. Question 9. What is the title of the UK's national anthem? A. Rule Britannia B. Jerusalem C. Land of Hope and Glory D. God Save the Queen Answer. D. God Save the Queen The national anthem of the UK is God Save the Queen. Question 10. During which war did the UK fight the Battle of Britain? A. The First World War B. The Second World War C. The Falklands War D. The Boer War Answer B. The Second World War The Battle of Britain was fought during the Second World War. Question 11. Who was the reigning monarch of the UK during World War I? A. King George V B. Queen Victoria C. King Edward VII D. King George VI Answer. A. King George V. King George V 
was the reigning monarch of the UK during World War I. Question 12. What event is commemorated by the gunpowder plot? A. The signing of the Magna Carta. B. The end of the English Civil War. C. A failed assassination attempt against King James I. D. The Declaration of the Republic of England. Answer. C. A failed assassination attempt against King I. The gunpowder plot commemorates a failed attempt in 1605 to assassinate King James I and blow up the Houses of Parliament. Question 13. What does the Bill of Rights, 1689, signify in British history? A. The establishment of the Church of England. B. The beginning of the British Empire. C. The limitation of the monarch's powers and the establishment of Parliament's rights. D. The abolition of the feudal system. Answer. C. The limitation of the monarch's powers and the establishment of Parliament's rights. The Bill of Rights, 1689, is significant for limiting the powers of the monarch and establishing the rights of Parliament. Question 14. When is St. David's Day and which country celebrates it? A. March 1, celebrated in Wales. B. April 23, celebrated in England. C. July 12, celebrated in Northern Ireland. D. November 30, celebrated in Scotland. Answer. A. March 1, celebrated in Wales. St. David's Day is celebrated on March 1 in Wales. Question 15. Which monarch established the Church of England? A. Queen Elizabeth I. B. King Henry VIII. C. King James I. P. Oliver Cromwell. Answer. B. King Henry VIII. King Henry VIII established the Church of England. Question 16. What is the legal voting age in the UK? A. 16. B. 18. C. 21. D. 25. Answer. B. 18. The legal voting age in the UK is 18. Question 17. Who is the longest reigning monarch in British history? A. Queen Victoria. B. King George III. C. Queen Elizabeth II. D. King Henry VIII. Answer. C. Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II is the longest reigning monarch in British history. Question 18. Who was the British monarch during the Victorian era? A. Queen Elizabeth I. B. Queen Victoria. C. King George III. D. Queen Elizabeth II. Answer. B. Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria was the British monarch during the Victorian era. Question 19. What significant change occurred in the representation of the People Act 1928? A. Women gained the right to vote. B. Voting age was lowered to 18. C. Women achieved equal voting rights with men. D. Property requirements for voting were abolished. Answer. C. Women achieved equal voting rights with men. The Representation of the People Act 1928 granted women equal voting rights with men. Question 20. To describe the main contributions of the agricultural revolution. A. The introduction of factory-based production. B. The expansion of the British Empire. C. Improvements in agricultural productivity and techniques. D. The development of parliamentary democracy. Answer. C. Improvements in agricultural productivity and techniques. The agricultural revolution contributed significant improvements in agricultural productivity and techniques. Question 21. Who is the author of the play Hamlet? A. Charles Dickens. B. William Shakespeare. C. Jane Austen. D. 
John Milton. Answer. B. William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare is the author of the play Hamlet, which is considered one of his greatest works. Question 22. What is the purpose of the UK's national insurance system? A. To fund the National Health Service. B. To provide a state pension and benefits for sickness and unemployment. C. To insure vehicles and property. D. To provide free university education. Answer. B. To provide a state pension and benefits for sickness and unemployment. The national insurance system in the UK is designed to fund state benefits, including pensions, sickness and unemployment benefits. Question 23. Which scientist is credited with the law of gravitation? A. Charles Darwin. B. Isaac Newton. C. Albert Einstein. D. Stephen Hawking. Answer. B. Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton is credited with formulating the law of gravitation, a fundamental principle of physics. Question 24. What are the two houses of the UK Parliament? A. The Senate and the House of Commons. B. The House of Lords and the House of Commons. C. The Royal Court and the House of Lords. D. The House of Representatives and the Senate. Answer. B. The House of Lords and the House of Commons. The UK Parliament is bicameral, consisting of the House of Lords and the House of Commons. Question 25. What is the primary legislative body in Scotland? A. The Welsh Assembly. B. The Scottish Parliament. C. The Senate. D. The Northern Ireland Assembly. Answer. B. The Scottish Parliament. The primary legislative body in Scotland is the Scottish Parliament. Question 26. How often are general elections held in the UK? A. Every four years. B. Every five years. C. Every six years. D. At the discretion of the Prime Minister. Answer. B. Every five years. General elections in the UK are held every five years. Question 27. Who appoints the Prime Minister in the UK? A. The Monarch. B. The House of Commons. C. The House of Lords. D. The Speaker of the House. Answer. A. The Monarch. The Monarch appoints the Prime Minister, who is usually the leader of the political party that has the most seats in the House of Commons. Question 28. Who played a key role in the discovery of penicillin? A. Charles Darwin. B. Isaac Newton. C. Alexander Fleming. D. Stephen Hawking. Answer. C. Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming played a key role in the discovery of penicillin in 1928. Question 29. What event marked the beginning of Norman rule in England? A. The signing of the Magna Carta. B. The Battle of Hastings. C. The Black Death. D. The Glorious Revolution. Answer. B. The Battle of Hastings. The Battle of Hastings in 1066 marked the beginning of Norman rule in England. Question 30. Who led the British suffragette movement in the early 20th century? A. Florence Nightingale. B. Emmeline Pankhurst. C. Queen Victoria. D. Margaret Thatcher. Answer. B. Emmeline Pankhurst. M. Lyme Pankhurst was a leading figure in the British suffragette movement which fought for women's right to vote. Question 31. When did the English Civil War start? A. 1534. B. 1603. C. 1642. D. 1707. Answer. C. 1642. The English Civil War began in 1642. Question 32. 
What was the significance of the Battle of Britain? A. It marked the beginning of the British Empire. B. It was the first major military campaign fought entirely by air forces. C. It resulted in British independence from Roman rule. D. It was a significant naval battle against the Spanish Armada. Answer. B. It was the first major military campaign fought entirely by air forces. The Battle of Britain in 1940 was a crucial defence of the UK against Nazi Germany's air force. Question 33. Name the act that unified England and Scotland. A. The Act of Union 1707. B. The Magna Carta. C. The Glorious Revolution. D. The English Bill of Rights. Answer. A. The Act of Union 1707. The Act of Union 1707 unified the parliaments of England and Scotland, creating the Kingdom of Great Britain. Question 34. What is celebrated on Burns Night in Scotland? A. The end of the Jacobite Rebellion. B. The birthday of Robert Burns. C. Scottish independence. D. The Battle of Stirling Bridge. Answer. B. The birthday of Robert Burns. Burns Night is celebrated on January 25th in Scotland to honour the birthday of the poet Robert Burns. Question 35. Who is the patron saint of England? A. Saint Andrew. B. Saint David. C. Saint George. D. Saint Patrick. Answer. C. Saint George. Saint George is the patron saint of England. Question 36. Name the ship led by Admiral Lord Nelson in the Battle of Trafalgar. A. HMS Beagle. B. HMS Victory. C. HMS Endeavour. D. HMS Titanic. Answer. B. HMS Victory. HMS Victory was Admiral Lord Nelson's flagship at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. Question 37. Who was the first female poet laureate of the UK? A. Sylvia Plath. B. Carol Ann Duffy. C. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. D. Virginia Woolf. Answer. B. Carol Ann Duffy. Carol Ann Duffy became the first female poet laureate of the UK in 2009. Question 38. What dish is traditionally eaten in the UK on Shrove Tuesday? A. Fish and chips. B. Roast beef. C. Pancakes. D. Shepherd's pie. Answer C. Pancakes. Pancakes are traditionally eaten in the UK on Shrove Tuesday. Question 39. In what year did the UK decimalize its currency? A. 1952. B. 1967. C. 1971. D. 1981. Answer. C. 1971. The UK decimalized its currency in 1971, moving from pounds, shillings, and pence to a system based on pounds and pence. Question 40. What is the primary purpose of Prime Minister's questions? A. For the Prime Minister to address the public. B. For the opposition to propose new legislation. C. For MPs to question the Prime Minister. D. For the Prime Minister to outline the government's policies. Answer. C. For MPs to question the Prime Minister. Prime Minister's Questions is a weekly session where MPs have the opportunity to question the Prime Minister about government policies and current issues. Question 41. Who was the British monarch at the time of the Battle of Waterloo? A. Queen Victoria. B. King George III. C. King George IV. D. King Edward VII. Answer. B. King George III. King George III was the British monarch during the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. 
Question 42. What is the role of a jury in the UK legal system? A. To advise the judge on legal matters. B. To determine the punishment for the accused. C. To decide the guilt or innocence of the accused. D. To represent the Crown in trials. Answer. C. To decide the guilt or innocence of the accused. The primary role of a jury in the UK legal system is to determine the guilt or innocence of the accused based on evidence presented during the trial. Question 43. Who designed St. Paul's Cathedral in London? A. Christopher Wren B. John Nash C. Richard Rogers D. Norman Foster Answer. A. Christopher Wren Sir Christopher Wren designed St. Paul's Cathedral, which was completed in 1710. Question 44. What does the Act of Union 1800 signify? A. It established the Commonwealth. B. It unified England and Scotland. C. It created the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. D. It granted independence to American colonies. Answer. C. It created the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. The Act of Union 1800 unified the kingdoms of Great Britain and Ireland into a single state. Question 45. What was the main purpose of the Domesday Book? A. To record the outcomes of trials. B. To serve as a royal family genealogy. C. To assess the extent of church lands. D. To survey the wealth of England for tax purposes. Answer. D. To survey the wealth of England for tax purposes. The Domesday Book, commissioned by William the Conqueror in 1086, was a survey of landholding and resources in England for taxation. Question 46. Which British scientist is known for his theory of evolution? A. Isaac Newton. B. Charles Darwin. C. Stephen Hawking. D. Alexander Fleming. Answer. B. Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is renowned for his theory of evolution by natural selection, outlined in his book On the Origin of Species, published in 1859. Question 47. Who was the first Briton to win the Tour de France? A. Chris Froome. B. Bradley Wiggins. C. Geraint Thomas. D. Mark Cavendish. Answer. B. Bradley Wiggins. Bradley Wiggins became the first Briton to win the Tour de France in 2012. Question 48. What is the significance of Diwali as celebrated in the UK? A. It marks the British New Year. B. It celebrates British independence. C. It signifies the triumph of good over evil in Hinduism. D. It is a celebration of the summer solstice. Answer. C. It signifies the triumph of good over evil in Hinduism. Diwali, the festival of lights, is celebrated by Hindus, Sikhs, and Jains in the UK and around the world. Question 49. What significant social reform was introduced in the UK after World War I? A. The establishment of the welfare state. B. Women's suffrage. C. The abolition of the slave trade. D. Decimalization of currency. Answer. B. Women's suffrage. After World War I, significant social reform included the extension of voting rights to women over the age of 30 in 1918, which was a major step towards full women's suffrage achieved in 1928. Question 50. What is the role of the Secretary of State for Defence in the UK? A. To manage the UK's foreign policy. B. To oversee the nation's finances. C. To lead the country's armed forces. D to handle internal security and policing. Answer. C. To lead the country's armed forces. 
The Secretary of State for Defence is responsible for the leadership and organisation of the British Armed Forces. Question 51. In what year was the Bank of England established? A. 1544 B. 1694 C. 1776 D. 1832 Answer. B. 1694 the Bank of England was established in 1694, making it one of the oldest central banks in the world. Question 52. What does Guy Fawkes Night commemorate? A. The signing of the Magna Carta. B. The end of the English Civil War. C. A failed assassination attempt against King James I. D. The Declaration of the Republic of England. Answer. C. A failed assassination attempt against King James I. Guy Fawkes Knight, observed on November 5th, commemorates the failure of the gunpowder plot in 1605, an attempt to blow up the Houses of Parliament. Question 53. What is the current role of the Magna Carta in the UK legal system? A. It serves as the written constitution of the UK. B. It is a historical document with no legal standing. C. It provides the foundation for human rights laws. D. It defines the powers of the monarchy. Answer. C. It provides the foundation for human rights laws. The Magna Carta, while a historical document, continues to influence the principles of justice and liberty and is considered a foundational document for human rights. Question 54. What historical structure was built as a royal residence and prison? A. Buckingham Palace. B. The Tower of London. C. Windsor Castle. D. The Houses of Parliament. Answer. B. The Tower of London. The Tower of London has served variously as a royal palace, a prison, an armory, and a treasury. Question 55. What is the famous clock at the Palace of Westminster known as? A. The Victoria Clock. B. The Elizabeth Tower. C. The Westminster Clock. D. Big Ben. Answer. D. Big Ben. Big Ben is the nickname for the Great Bell of the Clock at the north end of the Palace of Westminster in London. However, it is often extended to refer also to the clock and the clock tower. Question 56. Who was the patron of William Shakespeare? A. Queen Elizabeth I. B. King James I. C. The Earl of Southampton. D. The Earl of Essex. Answer. C. The Earl of Southampton. The Earl of Southampton is widely believed to have been a patron of William Shakespeare, possibly sponsoring some of his works. Question 57. Name the battle where Robert the Bruce defeated the English in 1314. A. The Battle of Stirling Bridge. B. The Battle of Falkirk. C. The Battle of Bannockburn. D. The Battle of Flodden. Answer. C. The Battle of Bannockburn. The Battle of Bannockburn in 1314 was a significant Scottish victory over the English, led by Robert the Bruce. Question 58. What caused the Great Fire of London in 1666? A. A military attack. B. An unattended bakery oven. C. Lightning strike. D. Industrial explosion. Answer. B. An unattended bakery oven. The Great Fire of London in 1666 was caused by an unattended bakery oven in Pudding Lane. Question 59. Who wrote Paradise Lost? A. William Blake. B. John Milton. C. Geoffrey Chaucer. D. Samuel Johnson. Answer. B. John Milton. John Milton is the author of Paradise Lost, an epic poem in blank verse. Question 60. What is England's largest national park? A. The Lake District. B. Snowdonia. 
C. The Peak District. D. The Yorkshire Dales. Answer. A. The Lake District. The Lake District is England's largest national park, known for its lakes, forests, and mountains. Question 61. Which naval hero was killed during the Battle of Trafalgar? A. Sir Francis Drake. B. Admiral Lord Nelson. C. Sir Walter Raleigh. D. Captain James Cook. Answer. B. Admiral Lord Nelson. Admiral Lord Nelson was killed during the Battle of Trafalgar, marking a pivotal British naval victory against Napoleon's forces. Question 62. What is the primary function of the opposition in the UK Parliament? A. To pass legislation. B. To challenge and scrutinise the government. C. To appoint judges. D. To manage the economy. Answer. B. To challenge and scrutinise the government. The primary function of the opposition in the UK Parliament is to question and challenge the policies and actions of the government, providing a necessary check and balance. Question 63. What does the poppy symbolise on Remembrance Day? A. The restoration of the monarchy. B. The end of the English Civil War. C. The memory of those who have died in wars. D. The signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. C. The memory of those who have died in wars. The poppy is worn on Remembrance Day to honour and remember those who have died in wars and conflicts. Question 64. Who was the first woman to fly solo from England to Australia? A. Amelia Earhart. B. Harriet Quimby. C. Bessie Coleman. D. Amy Johnson. Answer. D. Amy Johnson. Amy Johnson was the first woman to fly solo from England to Australia in 1930, becoming a pioneering aviator and a national heroine. Question 65. When did the UK most recently host the Olympic Games? A. 2000. B. 2004. C. 2012. D. 2016. Answer. C. 2012. The UK most recently hosted the Olympic Games in 2012, with the main events taking place in London. Question 66. What are the devolved administrations of the UK? A. England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. B. The Commonwealth, the Crown Dependencies and the Overseas Territories. C. The Shires, the Boroughs and the Counties. D. The Dioceses, the Parishes and the Deaneries. Answer. A. England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The devolved administrations in the UK refer to the governments of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, each with varying degrees of legislative power separate from the UK Parliament. Question 67. Who played a pivotal role in the abolition of the slave trade in Britain? A. William Wilberforce. B. Oliver Cromwell. C. Sir Winston Churchill. D. Thomas More. Answer. A. William Wilberforce. William Wilberforce was a leading figure in the movement to abolish the slave trade in Britain, with his efforts culminating in the Slave Trade Act of 1807. Question 68. Name a major political party in the United Kingdom. A. The Green Party. B. The Labour Party. C. The Brexit Party. D. The Liberal Party. Answer. B. The Labour Party. The Labour Party is one of the major political parties in the United Kingdom, traditionally representing the working class and advocating for social democracy. Question 69. What is the primary aim of the Commonwealth? A. To create a global empire. B. To promote economic trade agreements. C. To foster international cooperation and development. D. To maintain British rule over former colonies. Answer C. 
to foster international cooperation and development. The Commonwealth aims to support member countries in development goals, democracy, and peace. Question 70. What is the minimum age for jury service in the UK? A. 16 years. B. 18 years. C. 21 years. D. 25 years. Answer. B. 18 years. The minimum age for jury service in the UK is 18 years. Question 71. For what purpose was the Tower of London originally built? A. As a royal palace. B. As a military base. C. As a prison. D. As a treasury. Answer. A. As a royal palace. The Tower of London was originally built by William the Conqueror in the early 1080s as a royal residence and a demonstration of Norman power. Question 72. What era is known for British exploration and expansion of overseas territories? A. The Elizabethan era. B. The Victorian era. C. The Georgian era. D. The Edwardian era. Answer. A. The Elizabethan era. The Elizabethan era, named after Queen Elizabeth I, is known for significant British exploration and the expansion of overseas territories. Question 73. What is the national flower of England? A. The rose. B. The daffodil. C. The thistle. D. The shamrock. Answer. A. The rose. The rose is the national flower of England, symbolizing the country in various historical and cultural contexts. Question 74. Which document established the principle of habeas corpus? A. The Magna Carta. B. The Habeas Corpus Act. C. The Bill of Rights. D. The Charter of Liberties. Answer. B. The Habeas Corpus Act. The Habeas Corpus Act of 1679 established the principle that someone under arrest must be brought before a judge or into court. Question 75. Who was the British monarch during the American War of Independence? A. King George III. B. Queen Victoria. C. King Henry VIII. D. King Edward VII. Answer. A. King George III. King George III was the British monarch during the American War of Independence, which lasted from 1775 to 1783. Question 76. What is the primary responsibility of the Home Secretary in the UK? A. Foreign Affairs. B. Economic Policy. C. Domestic Security and Immigration. D. Education and Culture. Answer. C. Domestic Security and Immigration. The Home Secretary oversees domestic security, policing, and immigration matters within the UK. Question 77. What period is known as the Industrial Revolution in Britain? A. Late 16th to early 17th century. B. Late 17th to early 18th century. C late 18th to early 19th century. D. Late 19th to early 20th century. Answer. C. Late 18th to early 19th century. The Industrial Revolution in Britain occurred from the late 18th to early 19th century, marked by significant advancements in manufacturing and technology. Question 78. Which is the highest criminal court in the UK? A the Magistrates Court, B. The Crown Court, C. The High Court, D. The Supreme Court. Answer. D. The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the UK for criminal and civil cases, serving as the final court of appeal. Question 79. Explain the primary role of the UK Prime Minister. A. Head of the Church of England. B. Head of the Judiciary. C. Head of Government. D. 
head of the monarchy? Answer. C. Head of government. The UK Prime Minister is the head of government, responsible for running the country and leading the executive branch. Question 80. Who is the patron saint of Wales? A. Saint Andrew. B. Saint David. C. Saint George. D. Saint Patrick. Answer. B. Saint David. Saint David is the patron saint of Wales, celebrated annually on March 1st. Question 81. When do people celebrate St. George's Day in England? A. March 1. B. April 23. C. June 24. D. November 30. Answer. B. April 23. St. George's Day is celebrated on April 23 in England, honouring St. George, the patron saint of England. Question 82. In what year did the Roman conquest of Britain begin? A. 43 AD B. 55 BC C. 106 AD D. 121 AD Answer A. 43 AD The Roman conquest of Britain began in 43 AD, marking the start of Roman rule over Britain for several centuries. Question 83. What is the main principle of British life concerning religion? A. State enforce religion. B. Religious intolerance. C. Freedom of religion. D. Atheism. Answer. C. Freedom of religion. The main principle concerning religion in British life is freedom of religion allowing individuals the liberty to follow any religion or none at all. Question 84. Who was the British Prime Minister during World War II? A. Winston Churchill B. Neville Chamberlain C. Clement Attlee D. Margaret Thatcher Answer. A. Winston Churchill Winston Churchill was the British Prime Minister during most of World War II, known for his leadership and oratory skills. Question 85. What are the core principles of British law? A. Rule by monarchy. B. Theocratic governance. C. Equality before the law. D. Rule by aristocracy. Answer. C. Equality before the law. One of the core principles of British law is equality before the law, ensuring all individuals are treated equally within the legal system. Question 86. What is Scotland's capital city? A. Glasgow B. Edinburgh C. Aberdeen D. Dundee Answer. B. Edinburgh Edinburgh is the capital city of Scotland known for its historic and cultural attractions. Question 87. Who is considered Scotland's national poet? A. William Wordsworth B. Robert Burns C. Dylan Thomas D. Hugh W. B. Yeats Answer. B. Robert Burns Robert Burns is considered Scotland's national poet celebrated for his contributions to Scottish culture and literature. Question 88. Who is known as the capability in British landscape architecture? A. Lancelot Capability Brown B. Gertrude Jekyll C. John Nash D. Humphrey Repton Answer. A. Lancelot Capability Brown Lancelot Brown known as Capability Brown, was a renowned British landscape architect famous for his naturalistic designs. Question 89. What is the Northern Ireland Assembly primarily focused on? A. Managing foreign affairs. B. Overseeing economic policy. C. Governing Northern Ireland in domestic matters. D. Handling defence and security. Answer. C. Governing Northern Ireland in domestic matters. 
The Northern Ireland Assembly is primarily focused on governing Northern Ireland in domestic matters such as health, education and transportation. Question 90. Which monarch was ruling during the English Reformation? A. Queen Elizabeth I. B. King Henry VIII. C. King James I. D. Queen Mary I. Answer. B. King Henry VIII. King Henry VIII was the monarch during the English Reformation, a period marked by significant religious changes and the establishment of the Church of England. Question 91. What is the purpose of the state opening of Parliament? A. To elect the Prime Minister. B. To outline the government's agenda. C. To celebrate the monarch's birthday. D. To announce new tax laws. Answer. B. To outline the government's agenda. The state opening of Parliament includes the Queen's speech, which outlines the government's legislative agenda for the upcoming session. Question 92. Why are the toll puddle martyrs significant in British labour history? A. They led the first successful strike. B. They founded the Labour Party. C. They were early trade unionists who were arrested for forming a union. D. They wrote influential works on socialism. Answer. C. They were early trade unionists who were arrested for forming a union. The toll puddle martyrs are significant for their role in the early trade union movement, leading to their arrest and subsequent pardon, symbolizing a foundational moment for labor rights in Britain. Question 93. Who was the first Prime Minister to reside at 10 Downing Street? A. Sir Robert Walpole. B. William Pitt the Younger. C. Sir Winston Churchill. D. Margaret Thatcher. Answer. A. Sir Robert Walpole. Sir Robert Walpole is recognized as the first Prime Minister to reside at 10 Downing Street making it the official residence of the British Prime Minister. Question 94. What is one of the main roles of the British monarch today? A. Governing the country. B. Leading the military. C. Serving as a symbolic head of state. D. Making laws. Answer. C. Serving as a symbolic head of state. Today, the British monarch serves primarily as a symbolic head of state, embodying continuity and national identity. Question 95. What was the impact of the Glorious Revolution of 1688? A. It marked the beginning of the English Civil War. B. It led to the establishment of the Commonwealth of England. C. It resulted in the overthrow of King James II and established constitutional monarchy. D. It started the War of the Roses. Answer. C. It resulted in the overthrow of King James II and established constitutional monarchy. The Glorious Revolution of 1688 solidified parliamentary sovereignty and the principles of constitutional monarchy in Britain.